Hey everybody, Coach Troyer, and as of today, the school I work at is on winter break. Yes. Oh, don't get me started, I'm tired. It's been a rough week, but you know, I get a little time to relax and to get in the spirit of the season. I'll be hosting Christmas this year, you know, family's a little weird, but whatever, should be fun. Although it's a little hard to get into it because right now, I look outside, I can see the green grass. I live in Minnesota, so that ain't right. So I gotta get myself in the spirit of the season somehow, right? So I am gonna do what makes me think of Christmas, and that is play some games. During my winter break as a kiddo, I'd always be playing some kind of games, whether it be on the Commodore, the Nintendo, uh, the Sega Genesis, or of course, the Atari. But with no snow on the ground, I figure I gotta travel somewhere that's going to be a little bit frigid, so I'm going to the icy tundras of the planet Hoth with Star Wars Return of the Jedi. God damn it, I got the name wrong. Now, there were a few Star Wars games for the Atari, but this, I think, is the most highly rated one. Yeah, this is probably the best one. It's pretty much just a... almost a takeoff defender. Right. Now, there's not a whole lot of different play in this game. It is mostly going to be just shooting at these uh, giant machines as they come at you. You want to destroy them before they get to the base. You can crank up that difficulty level by turning on smart bombs as well as you can make it so these land walkers are you know solid so you can fly through the legs no problem but you're going to crash if you land into them. Another cool thing about this game is not just one hit you take. You can take up to five but it could be anywhere between two and five hits but you can actually fix up your ship by landing on uh, landing on the ground. You also get to use the force. If you stay alive for two minutes, then uh, yeah, you are invincible for 20 seconds. So you can use that time to do some damage and hit these ship or hit these walkers. And you really gotta hit them. I believe you gotta hit them like 48 times or something ridiculous like that to take them out. So these suckers, they take a ton of hits. But if you can get those sniper skills up, if you hit one of their missile ports, you can just destroy them in one hit. So that's really nice when that happens. Now, I'll be honest, I was actually never a really big Star Wars fan. Yeah, I know, right? In fact, I kind of preferred Flash Gordon. And I don't bash those who do like Star Wars, except for my brother-in-law. Even though this is the Christmas present I got him this year. But I did like the Rage Tridge, those first three movies, so this game I can definitely appreciate. Anyways, enough of my yapping, let's get to some playing, right? Oh, listen to that glorious music. Actually sounds pretty good. Alright, we're gonna start off level one. Nice and easy, because I'm not very good. Oh, well, there we go in my my spacey ship, or what is it called? Uh, ice hover round. <laughs> I get Star Wars fans mad at me. All right, ooh, I'm already taking hits. That's what I get for making fun of Star Wars. Yeah. I'm gonna use both my repairs on the first one. All right, we got one ship down. I can just shoot that missile port. There we go. Bam. See, that's like that sniper challenge right there. Oh. Ah. Haha, <laughs> I was hurt, but now I got the force. There we go. Use the force, Luke. Ah. Wait, after the force, I get two more repairs. Is that parallax? Does that is that parallax scrolling? The bottom screen and the top screen, the way they move? Does that count as parallax? <laughs> or does it gotta be on the same, like against each other? Oh, see? Yeah, I'm focused on the background and the beautiful mountain landscape. It's my goal. It's my goal be a thousand points. It seems like a good goal. Oof. And there go my chances of getting to it. I think that's, that's the Space Invaders noise right there, right? Ooh, look at that sniper shot! Yeah, as the Space Invaders creep and go faster. That's the sound they make. Oh, okay, I just need nine more shots. And I got my goal. 
<laughs> oh, the four. There we go. Come on, Flash. See? I invoke Flash and I get them sniper skills. Ooh. I also get shot in the butt. All right. Oh, I got one more life. Okay, sweet. New goal of 1,500. Do you think Land Walker could sue Land Rover for uh, gimmick infringement? Being giant things, I can go anywhere. I mean, Land Walkers were first, I mean, because this was from a long, long time ago. Patent expired. Ah, I got the force again. Bye-bye. Ooh, I would say noob goal of 2,000, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Alright, do that. I can just compose myself. <laughs> Snaps, maybe I can. I think those walkers are moving faster. I'm getting that Space Invaders sound even... Ah! Yeah, definitely getting faster. At some point, they're just going to be sprinting across the screen. Ooh, look at those moves! Don't get cocky, kid. Uh-oh. Ah, got him. Okay. Do I have any more? No, I got no no healing. No repairs. Not really healing a ship. Is this is Battlestar Galactica. There we go. I got my goal. 2,000 points. Is that an extra guy? I hope so. Die! Ah. Oh, look at that. Explosions. 2198. All right. That's that's not bad. I'll take it. Not bad for easy mode, I guess. All right. Now we're going to add in those smart bombs and we're going to make the uh, walkers solid. All right. Level 16. Here we go. Toughest level of the game. Can I do it? Come on. Be cautious. Ah, oh. Yeah. Be cautious and get shot immediately. Ah. Smart bomb! Ooh, no way! Smart bombs are vicious. There we go. Ah. Oof. That wasn't good. Oh no, he's already starting to invade the base. Am I gonna be able to take one out before it's game over? Ah no, smart bomb! Ooh, got the smart bomb. All right. See, that's talent. That is skill. And I already got another one at the gate. Oof. Took a smart bomb to the face. Ah. No, oh, get his. Oh, man. Ooh, ouch. Not even 300 points. All right, level 16 is tough. <laughs> Definitely much tougher. So that is the game. Um, yeah, still, it plays... It's actually a little more difficult than I remember, mostly because of the control. I mean, and I know it's on, on an ice planet, but the controls are really slippery. Like, when you're trying to fly and turn, you get all that momentum. It kind of makes it feel like, well, honestly, like an ice level in another game. You know, you're always sliding around. That's what it feels like uh, when you're playing this game. So they got those slip mechanics, even though you're in a shuttlecraft. And true, uh, that when you play on that easy level, it does kind of get a little repetitive when you're just shooting at the uh, at the walkers over and over again. But the uh, the variables in there, the variations, when you get those smart bombs in there, it actually I don't know why, it, but just a simple little thing like that adds a ton to the game. Really kind of switches it up. And the other difficulty of making the walkers solid and smashing into them that adds a little bit to it, I guess. But that was just never really a I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I play. I don't play like other people play, so it might not be as much of a problem. So anyways, that's Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. A pretty solid game, fun shooter, but I probably like something like Defender or, uh, or uh, 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 Chopper Command better. Still fun and definitely pilots different, so if you want to change that up a little bit, a little more difficulty, I think, then uh, this is a good one to go to. 
Plus, even though the graphics are pretty simple, I always liked the way the look it looked. The Landwalkers look pretty sweet. It's got the nice backgrounds, the good colors. Simple, but solid. And if that's not Atari, I don't know what is, right? So let me know what you think. Is this the best Star Wars game on Atari? Did you like the lightsaber duel better? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what your thoughts are. Anyways, this is Coach Troy. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for joining me as I start my journey into the world of retro gaming. If you're interested in my other hobbies of fitness or board games, check out my other channel. Anyways, this is Coach Troy. I'll see you all next time.